What's up everybody, Mario Games here and welcome back for another video. Today we're going to be creating an Axolotl emote over in Adobe Illustrator. So these files will be available to download for free in our Discord. The link is down below. You're more than welcome to join. So let's go over and do it. This is one that I've created before. So I'll go ahead, click on File, New, 600 by 600 pixels, RGB color, I 300 PPI and click create. So step one, you'll create a semicircle. So click on the ellipse tool, set the point to around eight, bring it up slightly around there, give it a little angle, bring it out a bit more, and center a bit. The next step is step two is we're gonna create the eyes. So again, grab the ellipse tool, hold down shift, drag, color that black, and then the ellipse tool again. We're gonna make this circle white this time, a little bit bigger than that one. Like that. The ellipse tool again, create a smaller circle, just like that. We're gonna hold down shift, select the three circles, right click, and then group. Select again. Shift and Alt and drag, just like that. The next thing we're going to do is the hands. So step four, we'll grab the ellipse tool again and draw the hands. And we're going to duplicate this again. Shift and Alt and slightly bring over there. The center up a little bit. What we're going to do is select all, make it a little bit bigger. What you want to do is grab the pen tool, draw a teardrop shape, the gill. And then what we can do is we can grab that end there and let's push up there. Let's bring this up, round this off a bit more. And the pen tool again, just to end off the points. And what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that. So shift, alt and drag, run around a little bit, line it up, push it up a bit more, around there, and do the exact same again, make it a bit smaller. So the next step is I'm just going to add a bit of color just to make it stand out a bit more. But let's choose a pink color. We're gonna do is we're gonna select those, select and those. Grab the eye dropper tool, select that. And then what we're gonna do is grab these three and push them to the back. So shift control and then left bracket. And that'll push right to the back. So we can adjust these as well. So I'm gonna push that back. Only a bit more. Just the angle on that. Same with this, shift control, left bracket, turn a bit more, grab down three again, duplicate, shift, alt and drag, and then we're going to flip, so select this tool here, and reflect, so double click, and click OK, we're going to do the same angle as, as well again, so around here, is what we're aiming for, Bring over a little bit more, just like that. Bring up a little bit. Just, and the next thing you're going to do is going to do the mount. So what we're going to do is grab the pen tool and just draw a shape like this. And then what you can do is click on uniform, click on width profile one. I'll change it to that width and then shift and alt and drag and we're gonna reflect that again click OK and we're gonna drag into position line up just like that and we're gonna group them together group make it slightly bit bigger just always up a little bit higher than there 
grab the ellipse tool again, create the little rosy cheeks. Drag it like that. Make that color again. Double click. I want to go a bit darker. Click on the stroke. Set it to invisible. I'm going to duplicate the same over here. I'm going to flip it. Angle it again. Just around there. Grab this and push it over into the center a little bit more. So the next step is we're going to do the tail. So let's grab the pen tail and draw a curved kind of triangle shape. Right down there like that. And then from there, the end point, just to close it off. Select the eyedropper, same color again. There you go. Shift control, left bracket, drop in behind that. And then what we want to do is grab the pen tool again and draw a shape like this. Kind of like a flame or a teardrop. And then do that again. Select select that eye dropper. And we're gonna give that a stroke of eight. And we're gonna drop that in behind there. Shift control, left bracket. Drag that down a bit more and then just grab the tail a bit as well. Give that a bit of an angle, just like that. The next step is to draw the body. So let's grab the ellipse tool again, do a circle, eyedropper, same color as before, shift control, left bracket, drop in behind, drag down a bit more. So on to the highlights next. But what we're going to do is select the pen tool, select white, a transparent stroke. We're just going to give it a little shine at the top here. I'll just draw a shape like this. And here. Kind of like a crescent mill. I'm going to do the same for the gills here. So again, follow the contour of the lines. Back up. Around, just like that. Select again and then what we can do is we can shift alt and drag and duplicate that layer make it easy turn it to the angle and the same for the other side as well The same kind of idea again. We're going to highlight that with a kind of a semi crescent moon. Go straight around, just like that. Around here, a bit smaller. Duplicate that. Push over here. Grab the pen tool again. We're going to start doing the shading also. So from here, back down again. Just like that. Like that color. Select that layer, click on properties, click opacity, select normal, and then we're going to multiply. But that'll just overlay on top of that layer. We're going to do the same again as well. We're going to drag and drop, angle, get smaller. the tree again 
Shift and Alt, drag, same thing we're going to do as well go down here go from here right down like this follow a line with the mouse eye dropper select that there we go shift and alt drag and over up on top there I'm going to add a little highlight here, same again, the pen tool, so I'm going to choose white, select white, go, and last but not least we're going to do the shading on the face, so again, semi-circle, straight around, follow around the face, you join the pad, take the eyedropper tool, I'm going to drop this in behind and bring forward just until it's like that and then we're going to make these a slight bit darker, so double click on the colour, drag down, slightly bit dark and then we're going to click on view, trim view to see what it's going to be like as an emote. Just move it over a little tiny bit and the last but not least I'm going to shade in behind the arms so again present like moon shape copy the same color up in behind again bring forward grab the pen tail present like moon shape like that I drop a tail again drop in behind what I do is gonna drag all these make it slightly bit bigger angle it a bit so there we have it in pink so if you go and select all of it there and then click on the little color wheel here oh you can recolor the artwork drag it over there so you can see and then just drag this wheel around whatever color you'd like so that'll change it to purple change it to blue change it to green so if you want to save these as a png file shift control alt s so save as a png 24 600 by 600 and then click save so when you go to upload this on twitch twitch will actually resize this for you to the actual specifications needed so there we have it seven different colored emotes easily created in less than 10 minutes using adobe illustrator so don't forget these files will be available to download on our discord the link is down below and also don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment thank you so much Bye bye